Hi again folks, now this is a quick video about the autopsy that I've just carried out on the charcoal filter from the EVAP system that I removed from the Interceptor 650 and posted a video about. And I thought it might be interesting, people might be interested to know what's in it. But um, before I do that, I'd just like to say that this bike has got to be slightly tricky to start from warm. So if I nipped up the road a mile away, parked up and then a couple of minutes later tried to start it again, it would take two or three pushes of the starter button, it would fire, cough a bit, stop and repeat two to three times and it started doing it a lot actually, virtually every time and from cold it would take a couple of starts. The other thing, and, uh, and that was very regular, and the other thing it did without fail was that when I pulled up outside my garage and put the bike on the side stand with the engine running so I could jump out and open the door. Um, if I did it for any length of time, the tick over got really poor. And I didn't understand that because it's obviously fuel injection. There's no fuel in carburettors to be sloshing to one side. And it just, eventually it would stop. And that was a regular thing every single time. The slightly tricky starting, you know, I thought maybe that's just a peculiarity of the bike. You know, two, three presses of the starter button and after a short run. And it did that, I would say, 75% of the time. Sometimes I'd press the button, you know, nip up to the supermarket, come out 10 minutes later, press the button, fire, stop, you know, spluttering. It would always start with a bit of revving, throttle, you know, but it was tricky. Now, those symptoms have entirely disappeared, all of them completely, since I removed the EVAP system. So it's, it's not a coincidence. And I, I'm thinking that the EVAP cartridge doesn't have a sensor on it, so it's got nothing on it to say to the ECU, um, you know, oh, I'm full of vapour, purge me. There's nothing on it. So I'm wondering whether the, the ECU does it every time you turn the key on, you know, sucks a bit of fuel out of the the EVAP cartridge, I don't know enough to, to say, but I'm wondering if that's what led to difficult starting because when I did the autopsy, here it is. So that's the cartridge. Now I've sawn it off with a handsaw, so that's the end of it. So if you take the lid off, you've got a spring and a recess to put the spring on. You've then got this grill. Again, with a, a recess on it for the spring. Then you've also got this foam pad, which sits on there. And the whole lot goes into there. Now the left hand chamber there is for the breather, which comes out of that pipe there. That's the breather pipe that goes up behind the battery. It doesn't really do anything, it's just a breather. And that's obviously the one from the tank has got a little felt pad down there and this assembly is obviously spring loaded and it's meant to push I believe the charcoal and keep it compressed. This is the charcoal. There's a few white bits in it that was just from a it's a few bits of sawdust actually but it was black. Um, I'd mixed it in the, in the bucket, put it in the bucket and got a bit of sawdust. So there it is, there's lots of it. Now, when I took that out of this cartridge, it was absolutely soaking with petrol. So much so, I put it on a plate and then I got a lighter and set fire to it and it burned for 15 minutes. The petrol vapour, you know, black smoke coming off it and uh, blue flame and it just burned away. It wasn't burning the charcoal, it was burning the, the, the petrol off. It was absolutely sodden. So I'm thinking that the bike is, you know, you, every time you get on the bike and you start it, if that purge valve opens and the bike's trying to suck through the inlet manifold stubs, uh, the pipes connected to them, if it's trying to suck through a petrol filled charcoal cartridge, then there's probably no wonder it was tricky to start. I'll say I don't know enough about that 
side of things to know whether the ECU times it or you know whatever but there's certainly no sensor on it so there it is there is the actual cartridge and uh, it, I mean thinking about it it could even be made as a renewable cartridge that if you wanted to that that could have a all of this compression stuff and spring and everything and that could just clip on you know two little clips it could easily be made that that could be emptied of its contaminated charcoal you know pour it into a tray put new charcoal in it possibly uh, you know aquarium charcoal they, they sell it on ebay however it obviously isn't re uh, a reusable one although it could be i think easily enough even modifying that with a few clips and a gasket whatever however i wouldn't want it on the bike anyway because this business about overfilling the fuel tank you know it's not clear I've, I, I to my knowledge i've never overfilled my fuel tank and uh yet that was absolutely soddened and since then the bike has had absolutely no problems i will now demonstrate so there we are And it's, it never used to do that. It would always struggle a bit. And then fire, I always started, it never left me in the lurch. So in my opinion, I would say without a doubt, it's the EVAP system that caused it, or fuel in it. So if, I think if you've got any reservations about removing an original part of the uh, Enfield 650, I think my honest advice would be just do it. Ironically, my garage, which is hot, it's got a felt roof and you know it's got grey roofing panels, like a giant solar panel. It uh, it's hot in here, and yet it, it doesn't smell of petrol in here at all. There's no petrol smell whatsoever, and which I understand. That's what the evap system's for. Well, it doesn't smell at all, even without the evap system. So I'm glad to see the back of it, and I hope that this. Um, video will enable people to make a choice that they feel happy with. Have fun.